Hi, it's Amanda the Nail Polish Hound and welcome to another episode of In and Out. And these are the things that have been coming in and out of my nail polish collection in the month of October in the year 2021. Before we start, I'll quickly show you what's on my nails in this video and it's Passion by OPI. I needed a really neutral, barely there polish to wear for work one day and this used to be the polish that I reached for all of the time and I've not worn it in ages. So I wanted to check it out to see if the formula was still okay and it is. For a quick review of my nail polish goals for the year, um, I wanted to sort and de-stash my stamping plates, I'm on a low buy for nail art and nail polish, and an overall goal to try and reduce my nail polish collection size. So let's start off with the nail art. I did purchase a few things in the month of October. I needed a, a hedgehog for a manicure I was doing. You can see that I have used one of those on these water decals. I don't think I've got an image of a hedgehog anywhere on a stamping plate so that's why I picked these up and they were on offer um, so I did pick up five for some other useful images as well. I've purchased one stamping plate as well. This is Born Pretty's L067 and I bought this for a challenge that I'm going to be doing. Not many images on this plate that I really like so I might use it a few times and you might see it coming up in my de-stash later on. So having purchased one stamping plate by my rules, I have to de-stash at least two. The first one that's going to be leaving my collection is this Born Pretty plate called Panda BPX L015. And as you can see, it's a load of cute panda images, but a little bit too cute for my taste. I'm sure somebody else will love this, so into the de-stash it goes. And I'm also going to be de-stashing this Uber Chic plate. I uh, bought it as part of a set uh, for some of the other plates in that set. And this one, the images I do like, I've got similar on other plates. So this one's going to be going into my de-stash as well. So for what most people come for, the nail polishes purchased and de-stashed during the month. And the first one that I picked up was Katie by Arda's Nails. And I wanted to do an Arda's Nails order um, for Christmas presents. So I picked this one up for myself whilst I was making that order. You all know that I love my grey polishes. And this one is just the perfect sort of tone of grey with a hint of purple, uh, which is just how I like them. Then lovely Nika was making an order from Rainbow Connection, so she offered to pick up some Missouris for me. And first of all was this one, which is Black Little Grains. I think Nika got this one as well. It enables you to turn any polish into a speckled polish. And I like how fine the grains are on this one. So very pleased to have this in my collection. The next one I picked up was Cotton Candy. It's a lovely pink uh, with a very fine scattered holographic glitter in it and those iridescent flakies as well. The third one that I picked up was this Magnetic Mazura. This one is called White Cat Eye Top. I don't know why it's called white because it's definitely more silver. I have got another polish very similar to this one but the polish bottle is very small so when I saw this one I've picked it up mainly as a backup it's not quite exactly the same but it's a, a lovely topper that gives you that magnetic effect in silver on the nail. So with four polishes purchased I need to de-stash at least eight. And the first one that's going to be going is an Arda's Nails. This one's called Odessa and it is a beautiful polish, nothing at all wrong with it. I just didn't quite like the colour of the polish against my skin tone. It was a bit too sort of orangey brown for me. Um, so although some people gave me compliments, it's not one that I think I would want to wear again. So that one's going in a de-stash. Then we've got Hot Coca by Prism, again same sort of thing, lovely polish, um, very very beautiful and intricate polish this one, uh, but for my liking I just really didn't like it on my nails and I think it's going to suit someone else a lot better, so this one's going into the de-stash as well. 
Next we have my Vampire's Buff by OPI and this one I've used a fair bit. Uh, I've actually realised that I have got another polish in my collection which is slightly better tone for my skin tone and also a better formula so this one is going into the D stash. As is we can do anything we want, um, one of the toppers um, that I decided to leave out and give a try and uh, I kind of enjoyed this one but not enough that I think I would reach for it again in a hurry and I've got so many polishes I really need to, to de-stash a few and so I thought I'd pop this one into my de-stash as well in case anyone fancies trying it out. You can see it used as an accent nail in this manicure. Then we've got this um, L'Oreal and it doesn't have a name, just a number. I purchased this polish because I was told that it was a dupe for Chanel's Malice. I do have a dupe detective video for that which I will put in the description below. It was a reasonably close dupe um, but seems as I had four polishes, I've de-stashed one already, um, but I still have another two that are quite close dupes for Malice, then I'm going to be letting this one go. Then I decided to raid my magnetics drawer again. I don't wear my magnetic polishes as much as I used to. Uh, the first one that's going is Silver Elements by Sally Hansen. I have two other silver magnetic polishes and this one was the one that I like least out of all of them. Um, so I'm going to be letting this one go. Next one is Ready Response, also by Sally Hansen. The Sally Hansen magnetics were some of the first ones that I purchased, uh, so I was a bit reluctant to let go of any of them before because of that sentimental value. But I do now have a Mazura polish that is very similar to this one with a slightly better magnetic finish to it. So this one will be going into my de-stash pile. And then finally we have Crocodilly by Essie. Again, I had several green magnetics that were quite similar in colour, not dupes, um, but similar enough that I didn't think I needed them all. Um, so this one will be going into my de-stash as well. So I had no gifts or repurchases in October. That brings us on to the totals. And I purchased two nail art items, I de-stashed two stamping plates, purchased four nail polishes and de-stashed eight. Um, so a total in of four nail polishes and eight polishes out, one stamping plate in and two stamping plates out. So for my yearly totals that means I have purchased 20 nail art items, de-stashed 45 stamping plates purchased 59 nail polishes and de-stashed or finished 139 and I have had 33 polishes as gifts or repurchases which means a total polishes in of 88 and total polishes out of 147 and I've purchased 13 stamping plates but de-stashed 45. As you know, the budget is long past being blown, um, but just for consistency, let's see what's happened with it. Um, I started off the month at £205.93 in the red. I've purchased £32.16 more worth of items and made £6 on D-Stash sales. So my running total is now at minus £232.09. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and I hope I will see you in the next one.